Hello and welcome to Physics Problems One by One. So here is a problem. As always, read it, maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. And today it would be the same problem as we solved last time, only I will suggest a little bit easier solution. Maybe this is easy, but I suggest different solution, let's put it this way. And my solution is as follows. So, until this happens, the first drop really goes distance d1 equals g t squared over 2 and t is unknown. And I totally agree that this doesn't change. But then I do a little bit of a trick. I say that at that moment it gains the speed. And this would be the speed of the first drop at that point. And I pause. And yes, you did it correctly. It moves with constant acceleration, starting with zero speed. So zero speed plus constant acceleration over the same time t. And I say that v1 equals gt. And this is the speed, and I know the speed. Uh, but after that, I do a little trick. I'll say that those two, I will look on this from the system coordinate related to one of the drops, for example, to the second drop. This second drop is accelerating with g, but the first drop also accelerating with g. So they come with the same uh, gt squared over 2, it would be the same for both drops. It will be added, but when I am sitting in the second car, it looks to me that the first car is running away from me with the speed gt and this speed is not changing, it's a constant speed. We're both accelerating with the same speed, so our acceleration is gone, but the first drop, it's already passed some distance and plus it's moving away from me with this constant speed. And if this is the case, I can say that the total distance, total distance that would be between first and second drop would be this g t squared 2, which is already there when we started, plus this first drop is running away from me with the speed g t, and it happens for time t. And that's it. Because if I look on the graph, and I am sitting in the system coordinate of the second car, all I see is I see the distance, and this distance is this d1, this g t squared over 2. And then all I see uh, is that uh, the speed is constant, and if the speed is constant, the distance that separates those cars grows and it grows constantly and it grows with that speed so for each time t capital let's put here t capital for each time t capital gt is a speed and the distance is speed over time so i got this equation i'm not gonna solve it here uh, but I want to make sure that this equation is the same like this. Uh, let's multiply everything by 2. 2d equals gt squared plus 2gt. T. And let's move it all to one side. So we have gt lower squared plus 2gt t minus 2d equals zero. So what I did, I moved this there, so I put minus and I changed the order, so zero stands on this side and uh, everything else on this side. And I have exactly the same equation, I will not be solving it here. All I wanted to tell is that this may be a little bit easier way to imagine things. First solution was we were looking from the system related to the Earth, 
and then we have both bodies accelerating with the same acceleration g and we have formula with dt squared and second solution was that when both cars uh, when both drops are dropping and moving then they have same acceleration and because they have the same acceleration if we're sitting in the system that accelerates with this acceleration g in this car uh, or we can put the same uh, system in this car, it doesn't matter. But the distance grows. Original distance grows and grows with that speed. GT, the more time it comes, the more it goes. And then total distance becomes this initial one plus how much we accumulated during this period of T that is given to us if T is equal to seconds. And I hope this... is a good second way of solving problems so don't forget subscribe bell like question and uh, i see you next time thank you